I thought uh, you know the comment when we talked about architecture about the emergence of di digital methodology. I think this is really actually something that's going to create a new aesthetic in terms of surfacing, uh, quality of surfacing, you know, the lighting, uh, both interior and exterior. If you see that, you know, what it's done to architecture as a revolution aesthetically, I think you know that could really be applied to automotive to push it forward to the next level. And I think you know you know there's that old saying you know the you know the methodology is the method. Um, I think that's really you know applicable. You know, you could see you know when a car was designed in the 1950s, it was you know hammered out by hand, and you know the surfaces reflected that craftsmanship. And then you know you had a manufacturing process that reflected that in say the 80s and 90s. And I think now you know that design process, you know we've gone from say gouache to Canson to you know vellum to Photoshop. You can't help but see you know that it has had an effect on on you know the aesthetic. And you know, I'm sure that's going to change, you know, in the next 10 years with the next generation. So I definitely would like to see that, you know, sort of influence design. But it's got to be timeless. You know, good design is good design. It doesn't matter, you know, how you do it. It still has to have, you know, proportion, balance, uh, you know, sensitivity, and all that. I would say that um, there's very definitely a trend towards very sharp edges, particularly the VW products that are out there at the moment through technology. And I think some companies will probably follow that direction. I also believe that there will be um, a reaction to that and there will also be cars with a little bit more emotion, even more emo emotive effectively. If you look at where Lexus are going as an example, um, they're very definitely not as rigid as a VW. So I think there's, there's much more of a kind of a divergence of, of trend, if I'm honest. Which way we go, we're, we're kind of currently investigating. So, right. um, so very, very interesting time actually, because VW everyone looks at, um, but obviously that, that takes you in a certain direction. So. I would say show your passion, actually. I would say that it's important to, to believe in what you do, um, to learn from those around you in technique, how to communicate, because the fundamental point of being a successful designer is getting your point across, but at some point it will become guided by others. So I would say listen to others, um, ensure you do your best and work as hard as you possibly can. Ambition, never give up. There's a lot of uh, hurdles you know, over the course, you know, getting into the college, getting into the right college, you know, getting your pro project done, uh, getting a job. You know, I mean, you see the amount of positions globally uh, in the car design industry and the amount of graduates coming. I mean, it's Darwinism at its finest, you know. Uh, uh, you know, it's very competitive and you would not believe the hunger. And it's not just from, you know, countries like the UK, you know, Germany, States, whatnot. I mean, but, you know, developing countries, you know, automotive, car, and design, those are three things that are very easy to light the passion of somebody. And you know, people who are into this, you know, are into cars, into design, and uh, you know, it's, it's a pure, pure passion and application. So you never give up, and also never compromise your ideals. You know, fight for what you believe in, uh, and you know, you might lose a couple of battles, but ultimately you'll not lose your, uh, you know, credibility. And uh, you know you need to be passionate to, to you know push through anything you want. So yeah, definitely, and it's a great job. I mean, can't beat it. <laughs>